What's up guys, Justin here with the sketchupessentials.com. So quick video today, I wanted to show you something cool with the extension Fredo Portrait. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. Okay, so Fredo Portrait is a tool from Fredo 6. We talked about it once on the channel before. Um, it's a paid extension. Um, it's $20 for a perpetual license, but um, I never really gave it much thought, but I was looking into it a little bit more. And one cool thing that this extension has contained inside of it is say you have a 3D tree like this one, but you don't really want it to be 3D. Well, what this tool does is it actually allows you to select an object. So I'm going to select this tree right here. Notice how it'll um, show you whatever you have selected, but you can click on the option right here to generate a 2D component. So this is going to use the viewport view and you can enter in the name of the tree. So we can do a 2D face me tree like this. And what it's going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to generate an image and you can use a contouring mode. And so we want to use the silhouette option. Um, we want to click on the option for place 2D component after creation because it's going to place it in your 3D view. But what this is going to allow you to do is this is going to allow you to create a face me component by clicking on the generate 2D component button. So this is going to take a minute because this is a more complex shape, but it's basically going to contour this image and then it's going to generate your two dimensional object. OK, so if we look at this component we created, it created a 2D face me component of this tree inside of SketchUp. So now instead of having all of these lines and edges, I can actually use this object as a face me component um, in order to drastically reduce the poly count inside of my model. Note that this did take a couple minutes for it to cut out because it's a more complex shape, but I still think it's very cool the way that we can do this. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. I will link to Fredo Portrait in the notes down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.